Hello Sagittarius, welcome into my channel. This is Sage Sunset Healing Tarot and I'm here with your tarot messages for your week ahead, Sagittarius. So we're going to look at what it is that you're moving past and what you can expect coming up for you. These are general messages and so they may not apply to everyone. Okay, so just take what applies to you, Sagittarius? Okay. All right, so we have the Eight of Wands, the Jack of Swords, shuffle one more time, and the Jack of Pentacles. Maybe some of you are focusing on work right now. That's what I see. Focusing on work, focusing on being of service. Maybe some of you are spying, are examining documents, words. Maybe this is a text message looking at someone else's profile. Um, for some people, this could be same-sex interaction, so it doesn't necessarily have to be a romantic situation, okay? It can be in business. So we're going to take a look at what's going on. Something is coming through overall for you swiftly. could be a message here. could be direction on how to move forward. So we're going to see what it is that's going on for you. So I want to say thank you, Sagittarius, for being here in this time. <laughs> I do hope you find messages that resonate with you, all right? Thank you for your support. All right. My shuffle and abilities. Okay. Oh, my. So here you are. The Knight of Wands, Sagittarius cards here, card here, um, fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So the Knight of Wands is one who is migrating, moving away, traveling, and this is moving rather quickly. It is at a steady enough pace. So you could be traveling at distance or you could be, maybe you could be doing something for a long time now, or maybe like alone for a while now, going through make building a business for a long time in a relationship for a while just on a journey you know getting that experience looking at your challenge we have the moon card as if something is hidden so the moon card means something is hidden and to some extent it means you have enemies like people doing things behind your back the moon card is piscean also cancer and scorpio here water sign energy here and this is your challenge it could be something is not clear it's preventing you from really moving forward the way you want so it could maybe it has something to do with contracts and legal matters Right, so I feel many of you want to come into this place of celebration and maybe you are celebrating something that is the mood that you're in um, it could be a child that came into the midst here it could be a job a promotion it could be celebrating moving away to getting that opportunity to move so it could be something that's prosperous that's celebrating or something that is coming to an end Maybe the end to this secret here. Celebrating. And this is love. This is a beautiful card. This is a water card as well. Cancer Pisces, Scorpio energy here. So this is something that is fulfilling emotionally. And now we're looking at what you're moving past. Wow, you're moving past a twin flame energy, a soulmate, soul of souls. This is the another cups energy as well. Cancer Pisces Scorpio. This is two people kind of making a vow to each other here. This is divine order. I feel like they travel a distance to come together. Maybe they're from two different backgrounds. Okay. 
It could be the unification of genders, masculine and feminine. Feminine working together in alignment here. So we have, this is what you're moving past. It could be a person that you're moving past um, or leaving in the past energy here. Or maybe I feel like some of you may want to go back to this connection with this water sign here. Within the water sign card, we are looking at the lion head right there so that's your energy even in this water sign so it could be an aspect of yourself as a soul tie a connection within you that you're deciding to go back to it could be past energy okay because this we have the star card i feel like ultimately you want to come to this place of healing and well-being seeing things from a higher perspective creating balance and stability within your life you know so i feel like maybe some of you are going back to your childhood and to create some healing of something that happened in your childhood <clears throat> it could be that is what this trip is this moon card so maybe once you go back um you heal something you get some clarity maybe as i said from at your childhood that's going to kind of um help you in your adult your adulthood right so it, it's like clarity so even though there was a secret or mystery around the situation it's going to when you go back into your childhood to ask questions to relive to revisit maybe even speaking with your parents about something it's going to cause there to be healing i feel like that's what you really want is to find this balance maybe this understanding this inner standing of what really happened why that happened so you can have a closure for yourself moving forward so let's see what's coming up for you what to expect hmm. the ace of swords so the ace of swords is something that comes in very forcefully here it happens quickly the Ace of Swords can be something that has to do with wisdom, intellect, being grounded, stable. This is like a gift from the universe to defiance, being able to stand up for yourself, being blessed with that power, the courage to stand up for yourself, knowing that you're backed even by law here. Some of you are feeling good or working on your values or being of service. I feel like you're giving back a lot with the six of pentacles card here. Some of you could be coming into connection with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay. Aquarius card once again. okay so the fives represents change and when it's in the ones energy i feel like it's change in desires maybe in the way you express yourself because the fifth the five of that is that house of expression the throat chakra i'm really standing up for yourself wanting to express how it is that you feel so maybe in your environment in your home maybe there are a lot of ideas and you're not able to say how it is that you feel i feel like in order to create a change in an instance like this where you're not being heard is to actually move away from the situation to to have a bird's eye view and also move away from the energy of a feeling that need to express yourself okay our, our need to really have that input and to see everyone else from a different perspective a higher perspective i feel like it's what it's calling for all right hold on i'm gonna check something out okay so like i was saying the five is change like you are sensing there needs to be a change possibly in the way you express yourself this could be also being more organized with your work with the action that you're taking with your ideas being more organized disciplined have more integrity self-awareness reflect on what it is that you want to say and i feel like that will help you to maneuver through this energy so focus on what it is that you want 
your outcome to be like and then take that necessary step forward step by step action and that's how you create the change that's needed that comes after this situation instead of remaining in that energy of wanting the change but also but always just being drawn back into old ways of handling things i feel like that's how you're going to create a change within your home let's look at your hopes and fears okay so maybe you are fearful if you are if you feel like you want to go back to this connection in the past maybe you're afraid of doing so because you were once hurt so once bitten twice shy that's what they say so maybe you're afraid to really embark on this journey forward maybe you want to just cut everything out annihilate the past move forward really focus on your healing and focus on yourself I strongly feel some of you are looking to really go back to this past as if you feel like this energy as if you too have something special so you want to really explore that but you are maybe afraid to do so a bit hesitant because of experiences also looking at this in a hopeful way it's a way for you to build your standards your boundaries your ideals your sense of self your identity you're going to become because after a broken heart it's like you learn more it's an experience so it's always there's always a lesson there that's going to cause you to be more sturdy being more discerning knowing how to detect red flags and situations that are not serving for you so that you can avoid them next time and now we're going to look at the outcome for you the eventual outcomes okay so maybe some of you are definitely now focusing on work mastering your skills working on your gifts maybe you're very good at working with your hand people enjoy the work that you're doing so it could be there could be an order coming in or someone recognizing your talents here someone that who has great power and influence i feel and it's going to come into you swiftly here and maybe that's what's causing you to celebrate we have three threes out on the board here so a lot of things manifesting in many different avenues of your life here sagittarius love is manifesting so r has already manifested work is going good for you and i feel like healing transmutation is taking place you're becoming more grounded more stable at the bottom of the deck we have the seven of swords so i just feel like piece by piece putting things together some of you could well be affiliated or associated with an air sign gemini libra aquarius maybe this is a future person or this is a person that caused you hurt in the past energy now we're going to clarify we do have the ace of swords here again which did say something is coming into you swiftly it feels like a change an opportunity for a brand new start to wipe the clay the slate clean that's what it feels like moving out of the old some of you may be physically moving we did say that earlier with the knight of wands card this feels like physical relocation some of you could be helping others to move moving into your healing too moving to calmer waters even within yourself and what cards would you like more clarification on Sagittarius okay let's clarify the knight of wands so we're going to ask where are you moving to or who is moving into you where are you moving from what's this movement what is the knight of wands card hmm. we got the nine of pentacles feels like maybe moving away to be single to focus on yourself focus on your business on your money Sagittarius moving to be single to focus on themselves to be grounded Okay, maybe some of you want to be single. I feel like to really have time to spend time alone to have some introspection here. Any clarification for the Nine of Pentacles card? Nine of Pentacles clarification, if any. So it's single. Being single, also looking good, glowing up. Glowing up, looking good, feeling good about yourself, realizing that your power is within, taking back your, your power, your courage, your strength, 
a grace a dignity a pride all of that instilling it in you or tapping into that place where it's instilled so that you can move forward from attachments that are not serving you some some of you are definitely disengaging possibly from a connection with a water sign here maybe you felt you had to move on in order to really feel good about yourself what other card let's clarify the moon card which is your obstacle or your challenge here like the moon card. what is this obstacle or challenge that Sagittarius is facing obstacle or challenge a secret some of you are definitely associated with a water sign cancer Pisces Scorpio okay so for the moon card we have the page of Pentacles which is enlightenment it feels like enlightenment getting maybe education studying broadening explore broadening yourself exploring trying new things i'm releasing also so this is also turn your burdens into light energy transmutation i feel like you could be going through a transitional phase energetically here healing Maybe letting go of something from the past so that you can move into your best self. Really tapping into your power. This is the Queen of Wands energy here, which is you, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, fire sign here. The Queen of Wands is very graceful and dignified. It's typically a business owner, very attractive, radiant person. Magician energy too, one who knows how to manifest the life that they desire. So I feel like you could be coming or you're looking forward to coming into that stable place for yourself here. Two of Cups. Clarify the Two of Cups. This Sagittarius moving away from. Ooh. We have the Four of Wands. So the Four of Wands. In tarot is often a union a wedding a celebration almost there like it is this is the day of the wedding so they are not officially married as yet right but you're, it's a celebration it's almost like crossing that line getting to that finish line finishing line right so maybe you were engaged to this person because this could be an engagement here with the two of cups energy and then Something happened. What happened? Ooh. So this is the Aquarius card. So maybe someone came in between you two. Maybe someone from your past came through and caused an interruption here. With this engagement between two of you. So that's Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and they, that this, this is a dis destructive energy that possibly came between the two of you this could be someone from your past Sagittarius or from your person's past maybe this could even be someone new that came in and interrupted this flow as if it's on your wedding day and someone says I have an objection do you see that so maybe you really want this celebration but it's sort of on hold because something Something destructive intervened. Something destructive. Let's clarify the Three of Cups. Three of Cups clarification. Oh, the Devil card. Mm -hmm. The of Cups could also represent infidelity third party energy it's normally a beautiful celebration but it could be a celebration with too many people in your love life here we have the page of wands which is your energy Aries Leo Sagittarius fire sign and it's this energy is someone that uh, I just don't every time I get to this card I'm not sure how to describe it it's just this person that idolizes their male follicle you get what i'm saying it's very clear on the card like this is the kind of guy that fills up on himself and gets erected easily and 
and just have low low boundaries when it comes to sexual energy you know that's that toxicity too it could be a sexual attraction it's like promiscuity too with this card maybe that's what happened in your past energy any advice okay let me get some advice we're getting advice for you Ooh. Feels like it's saying someone is coming to knock you off of your high horse in a sense you know what I mean it's not a negative thing it's just that they're going to show you something like it's going to be a rude awakening it feels and this is <laughs> an, an earth sign Taurus Virgo Capricorn okay something that interrupted your connection with this person so maybe it wasn't you maybe someone found you attractive still attracted to you your past person and wanted to really interfere wanted to bring this toxicity back to you again and you're, maybe you have your back to it you're really focusing on creating manifesting something different for yourself and so you decided to walk away stand in your really your power your sense of your value and move forward maybe someone didn't really agree with that and once again we have the air sign showing up standing up being defiant here air sign gemini gemini libra aquarius all right let's see what your advice is some advice for Sagittarius advice in this situation the death card maybe I feel like block and delete block and delete release the past energy move away focus on what it is that you want follow your heart's pace like do what it is that your heart want make your heart celebrate even if you're going to be single for a while just know that you're going to be trusting your heart it's going to make you happy with the three of cups energy here so the energy is block any interference move away right from things that interfere in your life and block with the queen of swords energy here it's saying just really block what's not just don't welcome things that's going to trigger you or bother you Ex just really instead welcome things into your life that will nourish you the death card is an ending so maybe bring an end to something and that's what you did by leaving moving away you brought an ending and so of course look forward to a brand new beginning for you you are maybe definitely focusing on your business with the king of pentacles card focusing on your business focusing on your money focusing on overcoming any sort of addiction from the past maybe someone is sending you messages this is the jack Jack of Pentacles. Clarify this card, please. Jack of Pentacles. Work as if maybe someone is watching you while you're at work. Sending messages to you while you're at work, while you're being of service, while you're focusing on your business. Any last messages? Maybe sometimes you do feel bad about the connection that you lost. So we don't want to forget that you have been hurt too, you know. So maybe you're just not moving now. You're really looking at all that you have created, manifested. So maybe you've moved away into a place where you can focus more. The King of Pentacles repeating here, focus more on your business. And that's what I have for you this week, Sagittarius. Thank you so much for being here. I do hope you found messages that resonate with you in this reading and are able to help guide you along your journey. Okay. Remember that you can be to have everything and anything in this world that you desire because you are all and all is within you. So 
If you're interested in supporting my channel, you can check the description box below this video and subscribe to my channel like this video. Thank you so much. Much love to you and I'll see you next time. Bye.